Nope, nope. That takes balls of steel, bro. And I know she's a girl, she doesn't have balls. But you guys get what I'm saying? Holy shit, though. Rapers! What's good? It's your boy, Laser. I hope you all are having an amazing day so far. You guys already know the vibes, right? Get some more scary reaction videos. He's been loving the scary content. I continue to deliver that for you guys. In this video, we're going to be reacting to the 26 strangest and most mysterious videos on the internet. Are you guys ready to be faced with mystery? Because I am. If you guys have been loving the scary videos and you guys want more scary content like this, it's simple. You guys hit that like button, you subscribe, and you turn notifications. So it only takes less than a second. Let's dive straight into this video. Number one. Alright, here we go. Ooh. Deadly eruption. Deadly eruption. Pyroclastic flows are the most deadly feature of volcanic eruptions. A mix of ash, lava plants, Damn, and that thing is can exceed temperatures of humongous, 1, degrees dude. Celsius, or 1,832 degrees Fahrenheit, and travel at speeds of up to 700 kilometers per hour, or 450 miles dude, per hour. Dude, imagine being stuck in this, like, As you, might you can't expect, even breathe, bro. <laughs> and not outrun something like that. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> While back in 1991, Japan's Mount Unzen unexpectedly erupted and took Holy a shit. gathered group of journalists and volcanologists by surprise. When they realized what was happening, they ran for their lives. Dude. Take a I, look. I've seen so many photos, guys, of like people taking pictures like right before a disaster like this, for example. This isn't a picture, this is a whole video, but Damn. Damn Sadly dude. their efforts were futile. Forty three of them lost their lives, including famous volcanologists, Katia and Maurice Crowe. Yeah, there's journalists that have taken pictures like this and like Whoever moments later they got blown out, dude. As the flow stopped just before reaching them. Otherwise we wouldn't be watching this video. Damn, dude. Yeah, volcanoes, dude, that shit has always scared me. Python trap. This next video went viral in two thousand. Look how fucking big that thing is, bro. Filmed years before that. It shows a live chicken being used to catch a huge python. Damn! The python slithers up to the chicken, and this is what happens. I know pythons are like only found in like Africa and type those type of countries, right? I mean, I'm not 100% no, I'm not no animal the scientist, but you guys get what I'm saying. Unknown, but it's believed the snake was causing damage to local crops, and it was captured to be relocated to somewhere else. God damn, bro! Look how big just the base of the body it. is. Like, just imagine walking out of your house and seeing that shit, dude. Holy Alarming shit. cloud formation. Is this like another UFO type video? In 2023, a round orange tinted object hovered over Bursa in Turkey. Many who witnessed it thought it was a flying saucer and that they were about to be invaded by extraterrestrial beings. Take a look. Like, how are you even supposed to react to this, bro? <laughs> Just imagine waking up one day and you see a goddamn orange shaped cloud that looks like a whole, like, UFO spaceship, dude. And with the all these sightings going the people on. Around the world. However, some questions Holy the shit. The image. We can tell you that it's 100% genuine and is a lenticolor color cloud, not uncommon in the vicinity of tall mountains. But still, pretty creepy if you don't know what you're looking at. Like, bro, I've seen many weird clouds out there, but that one. The police color. Screams. Being a police officer is sometimes a scary job. They are sent out to investigate crimes, but have no idea what to expect until they arrive. In this video, one police officer gets the shock of his life whilst patrolling like the car. with a torchlight. Take a look. I like those LEDs on the car. Oh. No, that sound, I feel like that sound is edited. I've heard, I've heard that note. shit there. However, there is a plausible explanation. I've heard that shit from other videos. It's actually a mountain lion. Not that that would have made him feel any safer. Or maybe that was the original video. I don't know. I've, I've heard that sound effect in Aliens. other videos, though. Are these aliens, ghosts, or a hoax? Take a look. Yo, alright. Yo, what the fuck? Those gotta be like baby owls, right? Well, they're actually none of them. What the actual creepy fuck? Owls. The video that was released back yeah, in 2017 I was about to say, dude. set the internet alight. It was filmed by construction workers at a site in India. The sinister looking creatures are real. They are baby barn owls, thought to be about three weeks old. I mean, they are gonna hurt you though. Featherless and rather creepy looking. The chicks in the video were probably startled and stood with their wings by their side, which Damn. makes them look a bit like humanoids. That's fucking creepy, dude. Now, owls are really like unique creatures, but as babies. Attacked by a fish. This is a terrifying moment. A fisherman was attacked by a Yo! fish. 
the unnamed man was dangling his arm over a Florida jetty, holding some bait when this happened. Holy oh, shit! That's fucking scary, dude. He was taken by a bystander, and for a moment, it looked like the man was going to be dragged into the water. Oh, he was bleeding too. The fish, thought to be a tarpon, is known to be aggressive when scared. Holy shit! Thankfully, the man managed to walk away, bloody but seemingly pretty unharmed. Oh, dude. Felt the ocean. Got respected. I don't even know if that was the ocean, but still. Of waterfalls, but if you are aware of sandfalls, as they are fairly rare and not often witnessed. However, oh, it does right? Out by one, they look pretty terrifying. Take a look at this one in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, huh? So that's like a that's like a whole pit, dude. An incredible sight, but deadly if anyone fell in. <sighs> They're a type of landslide caused by heavy rain and are quite dramatic to watch and usually short-lived. When this video was released, some questioned if a sandfall was actually a thing, but we can confirm that it is. Damn, like, just imagine being in a desert. Yeah, that reminds me of that one episode of Regular Show. Yeah, I don't know if you guys, like, watched Regular Show before, but you guys know that episode. I think it's, like, two episodes. There's, like, that pit, like, the death pit or whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about? This horrifying crash happened on the Selata Expressway in Singapore. Weird comparison, but you guys know what I'm saying? And his pillion passenger smashed into the back of a broken-down car. Now, we must warn you, this footage is not for the faint-hearted. So, we got... <laughs> Bro! Both the 24 year old motorcyclist and the 21 year old pillion rider survived the crash. No, he must have had like. No way he wasn't like tornado. paralyzed from that, dude. This tornado footage was captured by meteorologist and storm chaser Reed Timmer, just north of Ray, Colorado. Tornadoes, dude. Look. If you live in Oklahoma, guys, I feel sorry for you. They have to deal with this all the time. <laughs> OKC. Just incredible, but certainly not something you'd want to get too close to. And just a tip, if you guys look at a tornado and it's like not moving, just know, that means it's coming towards you. Number 10. Up a volcano. This next video was an Our experiment video, carried dude. out by researchers who wanted to see what would happen to a human if they fell into lava from a great height. What do you expect to the happen? The experiment was conducted at the Urta Ali volcano in Ethiopia. A continuously active basilic shield volcano. This was the result. Oh, fuck that. Don't worry, guys. The person they threw in there is like totally alive right now. That certainly I'm assuming they used like a dummy, dummy, right? <laughs> it's pretty safe to say a human wouldn't stand a chance. No shit. It's a goddamn it's volcano. Worth noting that although goddamn that's volcano, dude. The obvious conclusion. Researchers wanted to know if a person would be heavy enough to punch a hole in the lava. So I what mean, they threw in was a box filled with organic waste weighing about thirty kilograms. Oh, I, I was about to say, yeah, but lava, dude. All oh, you should do is put your finger in it, and you're dead. Victoria Falls is a waterfall on the Zambezi River in southern Africa, and is one of Africa's most spectacular natural landmarks with the world's largest sheet of falling water. It flows at up to 500,000 cubic meters, or 110 million gallons per minute. Devil's Pool is on the Zambian side of Victoria Falls and is only accessible by guided boat. It is located midway between the mile wide falls close to Livingstone Island. When this next video was released showing a woman lying down inches away from a massive 380 foot drop at Devil's Pool, it went viral and has been viewed millions of times. Take a look. Nope, nope. That takes balls of steel, bro. And I know she's a girl, she doesn't have balls. But you guys get what I'm saying? Holy shit, though. I do not trust that one bit. I don't care if there's like a leg. See, like, usually with these type of waterfalls, I've seen like similar ones like this. There's like a rock or like a barrier that like keeps you pressed. But I just don't trust that because of one gust of wind can literally just push you over, dude. Every day and like, it seemed that it's you ain't easy. swimming in that. You drowning. Are actually encouraged You're not even going to survive the fall. Drop. However, apparently only under strict guidance. You're going to like, you're going to hit rocks if you fall, but you're not going to even Terrifying be able to swim in it. A leopard attacks a barn. In December 2022, 
at least 13 people were reportedly injured by a rogue leopard roaming Assam's Jorat district in India. The leopard in question was caught on camera jumping over a railing and attacking a van. Take a look. I mean, leopards, bro, these animals are more scared of us than we're scared of them. Like, they're just standing their ground. I'm sure the people filming would be laughing if it was their vehicle the leopard jumped on. That's what I'm saying. And I feel bad for the leopard. Like, he was probably scared, dude. Got you. If you don't like spiders, it's probably best to skip this video. This incredible piece of footage shows a spider using the element of surprise to catch its prey. I mean, some spiders that aren't going to do anything to you, but that one clearly is going Known to do. trapdoor spiders, these inch-long creatures use a special row of teeth adapted for digging to construct burrows in the ground. The way it came out of the, the ground, though? They build a silken hinged door, then react quickly by opening the trapdoor and grabbing a passing insect. All right, guys. If you guys ever see like a hump like that in the ground, just know that spider's gonna get Gok you. <laughs> the Gokteek Viaduct is a railway trestle in Myanmar, also known as Burma. It was constructed in 1899, and is the bridge between the towns Payan Ulin and Lashio. When it was built, it was the highest bridge in Burma and the largest railway trestle in the world. However, if you're scared of heights, traveling across it is the stuff of nightmares. <laughs> Oh god, so this train, yeah, dude, this doesn't even look sturdy, bro. That bridge doesn't even look sturdy. Like, I, I just feel like that bridge could easily get torn down. Dodging, Dodging a bull train. train. When crossing railway tracks, it is always wise to be patient and vigilant. Sadly, this motorcyclist in Mumbai was neither. Take a look. So... Bro, that was an incredibly close call. Inches away, dude. Was obviously shaken, but apparently unhurt. Inches away, bro. Holy shit! You better buy a lottery ticket after that. How to that. survive a bear attack? Being approached by a black bear must be an unnerving experience for anyone. At least it isn't a grizzly. However, a woman hiking in Mexico seemed totally unfazed or unaware of the danger, and calmly decided to take a selfie with the curious creature. I mean, black. See, like black bears. I'm not saying they're friendly guys, but they're not like grizzly. Like, like black bears are actually very clumsy. But I have no idea this what. This could have ended badly. Luckily for the tourists involved, they survived, and the video went viral. See, in this Even situation, the wrong things. In this Experts situation, you gotta. That if a black bear approaches you, the best thing to do is to face it directly and, and just stand still as large as possible, and make lots of noise to scare it off. Yeah, There's always stand your ground. Standing still and taking a selfie. Well, no, I'm I'm pretty sure you're supposed to stand still because, see, when you move, you become, like, vulnerable to them. Like, they think you're prey and shit. But when you stand still and, like, you just stand your ground, I don't think they can really, like, they won't attack you usually. So, the narrator was kind of wrong there, in my honest Too opinion. Close. The Grand Canyon is one of the most visited national parks in the United States. And the views are stunning. But despite the Grand Canyon, dude? Guardrails, I gotta visit the Grand Canyon dangerous. sometime, dude. If you get too close to the edge, especially if you've had too much to drink. This video shows an intoxicated barefooted man. Oh fuck, come on, bro. Better view how many when this happens? How many beers did you drink, bro? Oh no. Oh no. He's clearly over the don't look, don't look. limit. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wait, did he just oh fall? Gosh, we told him to come back up. Oh my gosh. Oh Yo! my gosh. Oh my gosh. We need to call You have your phone. Get your get your phone. Thankfully the man survived. Yo, I did not expect him to actually fucking show it. I know he didn't did fall all the way, but still. Ah, oh, dude. Operation Hardtack. <sighs> Operation Hardtack 1 was a Fuck. series of 35 nuclear tests conducted at the Pacific Proving Grounds by the United States between April 28th to August 18th, 1958. All 35 test names were taken from North American trees and shrubs. The test codenamed Wahoo was the first underwater test in the series, and its aim was to study the effects of an underwater nuclear blast on Navy systems. The nuclear device was positioned 500 feet below the surface in the Pacific Ocean. The ocean on scares May 16th, me, dude. 1958, Wahoo was detonated. Bro! 
Dude, this is... I just... I can't take it with the ocean, dude. I can't. After just seven seconds, the spray dome created by the blast reached a height of 800... I know this was... I know this was caused by a human, when but still... When the spray still. dome dissipated, a foam patch could be seen spreading from the surface that reached over 6,000 feet. To think that waves can actually get this big... The blast was calculated to be nine kilotons of TNT. And all fallout stayed within the predicted fallout area. What is scary is this bomb was tiny compared to modern capabilities and was superseded by bombs hundreds of times more powerful. Dude. Bro, these videos. In 2021, this next video went viral. It shows a beekeeper transporting his bee colony in an extraordinary way. Yo, what the fuck? Alright, bro. And you're telling me not a single one of those bees are stinging them right now. You wanna know what's crazy, guys? I've never been stung by a bee before. The the bees like, believe it or not. Arm was because he was carrying the queen in his fist. And the worker bees flocked to protect her. Damn, bro. I like his... He got drip, though. Faced, I respect that. something he does regularly. He got a good style in clothes. I respect that. But damn. Not a single one of those bees stung him? year-old Buddhist monk. This video is pretty disturbing. It shows Luang Po Ya, a 109-year-old Buddhist monk from Thailand with his granddaughter and great-granddaughter. He gained worldwide recognition after his family posted videos of him on TikTok. <laughs> That's a human? Damn, bro. I'm, I'm like, I'm not trying to like make this in any hateful way, but like at that age or like at that point, if I looked like that, just take me out of my fucking misery. I'm not saying he's like in misery, but just end my life at that point, you know? The monk is clearly frail and unwell, but willingly participated in the videos, and they received millions of views and comments, not all of them kind. Dude. Sadly, he died on the 22nd of March. Poor guy, man. At the age of 109. At that point, bro? Still be viewed on TikTok. At that point, just take me out of my misery, dude. Like, tch. Alligator attack. A child's birthday party went badly wrong when their trip to Scales and Tails petting zoo in Salt Lake City nearly ended in tragedy. As the children watched an educational presentation on Darth Gator, the resident alligator, the beast suddenly attacked his handler. Oh, we see! The handler, Lindsay Bull, received nasty bite wounds to her arm but was saved from further damage by one of the visitors, Donnie Wiseman. She got pulled face down, dude. Daughter. A very scary incident for all involved. Bro, I've reacted to many videos, guys. This is probably like the most, probably like violent videos I've reacted to. So like, I'm sorry if this is like, making any of you kind of like face, you know what I mean? Piranha fish have one of the strongest bites found in bony fishes and their strong jaws and finely serrated Holy teeth shit, dude. make them adept at tearing flesh. Media representation of piranhas makes many believe they are extremely dangerous and a serious risk to humans. Although in truth, fatal attacks on humans are rare. However, they will readily feed on bodies of people who have drowned. Surprisingly, piranhas are edible and are commonly eaten in some piranhas, countries dude. where they have a novel yet terrifying way of catching them. I would not put my hand that close to the water, dude. And look where she's standing, dude. All it takes is one prana, dude, to just like get her and caught, like catch her off guard, and she's falling in, dude. Erin she could literally. In 2012, Erin Lagworthy was traveling in Zambia when she decided to do a bungee jump from a bridge. The rope came undone, didn't it? Above the Zambezi River at Victoria Falls. Nope, 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 Aaron nope, was the nope. Person nope. She felt nervous but confident. Nothing could go wrong. And this is why I'm never gonna bungee jump. When it was her turn, she spread her arms as instructed and fell forward. You guys can call me a pussy all you want. I don't seconds, care. She felt a jolt as the bungee cord broke her fall. But within a second, she sped up again and crashed into nope. the water below. Fuck that, dude! Was she okay? Erin survived the fall, but was pulled downstream in the crocodile-infested water. Holy shit! Eventually she was rescued, but was coughing up blood. She was rushed to hospital and put on a ventilator. Oh! Luckily, she made a full recovery. 
Just imagine if that wasn't water, dude. Dead. Like, that's why I'm not going to ever bungee jump. Fuck that. I don't Many care. people are a little apprehensive as they board a flight, but soon relax into their seats and buckle up to enjoy the ride. It's pretty common for people to record the takeoff. This is exactly what a passenger did on an Air Canada Express flight from Montreal to Bagotville on January 3rd, 2020. However, he got the shock of his life. Did one of the wheel? One of the wheels just the fucking came was on. was forced to circle repeatedly for two hours after the incident in an attempt to burn fuel before it could return. To How the did they even in Montreal and land safely with no injuries? One wheel, dude. No. Great white near miss. In 2017, Sarka. a salvage diver in South Africa came extremely close to having his head bitten off by a massive great white shark. The shark comes out of nowhere and shocks the diver by knocking him before swimming off. Take a look. Inches, bro, inches. If it wanted to, the shark would have attacked the diver. But luckily on this occasion, it appeared to have just been curious. Well, the diver's mask was like, it had like metal to it, right? Surfing but still though. For experienced big wave surfers, the bigger the waves, the better. However, sometimes things go wrong. On the 8th of November 2007, British surfer Andrew Cotton was surfing at Nazar, Portugal, when he took on a 60 foot wave that completely engulfed him. So, like, I've seen so many videos like this, guys. In this situation, like, when you get, like, swallowed by these waves, like, and you eat shit, like, how do you even survive that? Because, like, you're stuck under the water since, like, it's at such a and high level. A decision to like, you can't even get out. And, press, and plus, the, the pressure from the However, waves hitting he you. landed on his bottom, just as the lip of the wave hit the water on top of him. This had the unusual effect of bouncing him 40 feet through the air, landing him on his back. Did he survive, though? Andrew was rescued by a fellow surfer and rushed to hospital, where it was found that he had broken his back. A reminder of just how powerful the sea can be. See, bro, this is why I'm going to stick to so, skating. And I can't even skate good, but... Fascinating videos that we found on the internet. We hope you enjoyed, and if you'd like... Damn, that's crazy.